Happy Monday, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages. The weekend is gone. And here we are on a wonderful Monday. I hope you all had a good weekend. I hope you're ready for a good week. And today we are talking about Lethal 3 from 1987. Don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss this. <laughs> we'll be right back. Previously on the Nerdy Ronin Network. Hey everybody. Hey, real quick, I just wanted to say thanks to Blackout Coffee Company. Let me tell you something. This company has some of the greatest coffee I've ever had. No joke. You know I talk about coffee on here. There's several companies that I really like. But Blackout Coffee Company has some of the like fantastic flavors and fantastic prices and I don't want to talk out of turn but in the description down below is a promo code to save you some money if you want to make an order for Blackout Coffee Company you you will not be disappointed <laughs> All right, back to our regularly scheduled program have a good one <laughs> Happy Monday, everybody. How are you doing? Oh, we're so glad to see you. A new week is upon us, and we are going to make the best of it. <laughs> but funny enough, I'm having a pretty good day. <laughs> and I hope you are too. But let's 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 get into this. This is interesting. You can't find this anywhere. But can you? Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you to new subscribers, old subscribers. We love you all. So thank you for being here three days a week with us. In the description down below are all our links, merch page, website, uh, several coupon codes to save you some of your hard-earned money on things we use here every day. So be sure to check it out. You never, you never know what you're going to find. <laughs> all right, so I got an email. That's right. I know how to use email, even though I'm really old. <laughs> From Amazon, telling me all the new stuff, you know, for this week, or coming up this week, or what have you. And I saw this show. Lethal 3. From 1987, a wandering samurai, ronin, and ninja meet by chance, repeatedly, and reluctantly team up to solve the problems of innocent villages, villagers, and along the way, kind of an action comedy. Now you may ask yourself, "What? Well, why don't you have up the internet movie database like telling us all?" Because I can't find it anywhere. If, as far as <laughs> IMDb is concerned, this doesn't exist. But right now on Amazon Prime. You can watch it right now, the whole first season. And I'm assuming that's the only season. I don't know that for sure, but there's 21 episodes. A 21 episode season, season one. It's free if you have Prime to watch. Now you have to read what they're saying. It's subtitled. It's not in English. But I was interested. And I thought, you know what? I got a little time on my hands. Let's take a gander. Let's see what it's all about. And I have now watched three episodes. The first two episodes were really, really good. The third episode it was still a great storyline and really good, but the editing of it, like the way it was edited together, a little odd. So it was a little confusing in a couple spots. Now, before you all rush out or rush to your TV to watch this show, I need to give you a little heads up. This is a TV show. This is what uh, other countries would show, I guess, kind of like uh, what, we we, what we would look at as our daytime soap operas, maybe. Like, I don't watch soap operas, but I mean, I, I, I don't know when this airs, you know, whether it's daytime or in the evening or what have you, like prime time or what have you. But I will tell you this, there's some bad language. There's quite a bit of sword fighting. Die in there. 
and there's some nudity. Uh, not, not graphic that I've seen, but one of the episodes takes place in a bathhouse. So, you see people taking baths. And it may not be appropriate. Or it may offend you, I don't know. But, I'm just... I don't, I've watched three episodes out of 21. And the reason we're talking about it is because I'm enthralled by, the, like, it's interesting to see a samurai TV show from the 80s. It's kind of like a buddy cop show, maybe? Like, they're not investigating, but they can, you know, as they wander, sometimes they end up together in the same place and protect the innocent, help people who are having problems. They're like the A team, baby. <laughs> so you got a ninja, a samurai, and a ronin. I, I, I'm there for it. That's all I'm going to tell you. I'm there for it. I wasn't expect. I went into this not expecting much, but it's got some funny bits. It's got some really good character arcs. It's got uh, some nice world building as far as the characters go. And these three actors work well together. they got nice chemistry. Um, I'm just really into it. Now, it may drop off, you know, halfway through this season. I don't know how it ends up because, to the best of my knowledge, this is the only season which is sad because it's really good what I've seen so far. But maybe it crashes and burns halfway through. I don't know. But if you like samurai cinema and you're looking maybe for a TV show, you know, 45 minute episodes to watch to kind of get that samurai, your samurai juices flowing, but not sit down for a two hour movie or whatever. There you go. Bad sized morsels of samurai goodness. I'm impressed. I can say, like, I've watched some newer TV shows. Not Samurai stuff, but, you know, Asian cinema. Um, Samurai Gourmet. I still stand by it. One of the few shows Netflix did really, really well right before the coup was Samurai Gourmet. And unfortunately, my understanding is there was going to be more than one season, but the coup basically destroyed that. And I guess it's never coming back. For all I know, the main character may be may have passed away. Or, like, he was old in the first season. But Samurai Gourmet on Netflix is really good. But it's not Samurai per se. It takes place in modern time. And has a Samurai, like, parallel to it. But... I've never watched a TV show that Samurai storyline takes place back in Samurai. Anyway, I'm just saying it was something new. And I didn't have really big expectations for it. But these characters work really well. The loose thread is the, the ninja who... <laughs> he'll tell you he's he's lazy, but... If he needs to fight, he can. And there's a morality tale in every one of them. You know, samurais, like they're poor. They have no money. And they're proud of that. For the most part. Like it has it has morals throughout the whole thing. But just be forewarned. There's some nudity. Not graphic. Like there hasn't been anything horrific about it. But. One episode is a bathhouse, in a bathhouse. So, ooh, what can you do? People are bathing. I don't know. Anyway, all right, that's it for today. This was an easy one, mainly because I couldn't get any information. And maybe it's just because I'm a bad Googler. But when you type in Lethal 3, you get a bunch of Lethal Weapon 3. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope you guys are ready for a great week. I hope you have a great week. We will be back on Wednesday to talk about more entertainment. And we look forward to seeing you then. 
if you watch this show, if you give it a chance, if you watch an episode or two, let me know in the comments down below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? You tell me. All right. For Michael, the microphone, Bob, squeaky chair in the back, and this big fat nerd. We'll see you on hump day.